My name's Scotty Melton. Uh, I've been a songwriter for, for too long, <laughs> actually. Uh, I started, um, I didn't really plan to be a songwriter. Uh, I just played guitar and sang, and um, I guess I wanted to be a rock star like everybody else. I had grown up on Guy Clark's music, and uh, he's, he's a very, um, he's kind of like way up here as a songwriter. And anyway, um, I went to the down home to see him play, and uh, before the night was over, I sat with Guy, and uh, we passed the guitar back and forth for about three or four hours, and uh, we, we were, weren't drinking coffee. <laughs> that convinced me to become a songwriter, I guess. Um, so at that time, I believed that what I wanted was a record deal. Uh, I didn't know that, uh, I didn't know, I didn't have anything uh, negative associated with uh, record deals. I just thought that was the logical thing. You, you know, you want to be a songwriter, you want to be a singer, you get a record deal. Just pulling me away, the days pass by like a caboose on a funeral train. And by the way, I'll introduce now, this is, this is my buddy Henry. There are some uh, Indian tribes that believe songs uh, have been around since the foundation of the world, that songs have always been, and they kind of come and go at different times in the world. And uh, uh, people, when you're inspired and you get a song, that's just it. You don't so much write it as you receive it. I think something about the whole writing process, not just songwriters, writers in general, um, do tend to uh, go to darker places than a lot of people, so they, uh, they um, I don't know if, uh, if that comes from tragedy or if it leads to tragedy, but a lot of uh, artists I know um, have a lot of hard things that go on in their life. I don't think that everybody who writes songs has to um, go through all these bad things or put themselves through bad things and that's something Paul McCartney said once he uh, uh, somebody asked him uh, um, about the difference between uh, him and uh, John Lennon and he said well when it comes to writing songs he says you know John Lennon had a lot of tragedy in his life and uh, Paul said on the other hand that he um, had uh, had a pretty good life and he said that he didn't feel like he needed to apologize for that and uh, if you had to have a kind of a hard life to be a good songwriter then he would rather not be a good songwriter of course I think uh, we all know Paul McCartney is about as good of a songwriter probably the best but, uh, but it's a getting harder Lord just a getting by these days and the big old world keeps spinning leaves me feeling fur away, but I just ain't up to feeling down today. About six years ago, actually, I'd probably hit the bottom and I uh, um, had some uh, good friends of mine uh, uh, pass away and bad things happen and I, I had, um, I got really lucky because uh, Joy came into my life and she's, she's really, um, she gets, like I say, she gets all the credit for turning me around and uh, making me uh, actually change directions. I decided to go back to school and uh, actually made the dean's list the first like two semesters. But uh, also I had a lot of people, because you know I've been playing music pretty well all my life, they just assumed that I was going to uh, go for the music program at ETSU or something. And I said, well, no, I'm majoring in history. and. Uh, um, minor and of course in religious studies. I don't think I'm going to the seminary though. <laughs> he can't help himself biting tires. <clears throat> he, uh, that's the thing that really used to get me. I was like, why would an otherwise fairly intelligent dog, he can't help himself. He's like, especially like box, like van vehicles and stuff come up. And he's like, he's looking back at me. I'm like, Henry, come here. And he's like, I can't help it. I can't help it. I've got to bite this tire. 